at Ontario Comic Con or Ontario Toy Festival? Collectors Con, I think. Ontario Collectors Con. My minions don't freaking tell me these things, okay? With um, voice actor Ron Rubin. Hello. Hello. One of your most famous voices has been a cat. Yes, I played, among others, um, Artemis, who was the Artemis. white cat in Sailor Moon. And it's, uh, I think, the 20th anniversary for that. And so we've been uh, doing a lot of Comic-Cons, anime shows around, the, uh, around North America doing that. So um, that has a fairly um, large fan base of, um, of uh, feline-friendly um, lovers. Feline-friendly. So does anyone ever dress up like Artemis? Oh, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people dress up as Artemis. And has, uh, uh, I was doing one, and uh, a fellow had a tattoo of Artemis, uh, which was interesting. Uh, people dress up and have have stuffed animals and have body piercings and ink uh, showing uh, um, their love of, of Artemis. It's got quite a quite a, a frenzied and loyal following. Yes. Wow. How was your your first reaction when you saw your first cosplayer as Artemis? Were you <laughs> like, wow, that's great, or oh my God, someone shoot me? Like kind of both at the same time. No, not not to shoot me. Not right, to right, not right. to shoot me. No, I think the, the right answer was, oh my God, that's awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean. yeah. awesome. Yeah. Sorry, no. it's that bad thing that. No, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, but but that was an ADR show. That was uh, obviously you know that was from Japan, and so kind of um, normally when you voice cartoons, you lay down the voice track first and create the characters. Whereas um, for uh, for anime, um, the mouth movements or the um, uh, what do cats have? They have mouths. Yes. They do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, movements are there. So we um, kind of, um, it's, a, it's a different format as far as voicing it, but now I'm getting onto a completely different topic. But yes, Artemis uh, was a, is, a, is, a, is a big favorite character of mine. Artemis is one of your characters. You've also done the Vision. You've done more from X-Men. And um, this evil guy. <laughs> the evil doctor, bad vibes from cops. <laughs> like you already. Yes. Like awesome. <laughs> there you go. And uh, yes, and uh, X-Men was cool. I played Morph, whose metamorphous uh, powers allowed him to uh, change and morph into anything and anyone. So I got to do a lot of different kind of impressions and become all sorts of different people. And uh, he was killed off at the first season. And then th there, was a, there was a fan uproar. And, and so they had the evil Mr. Sinister implant an evil brain in him. Evil, evil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so he came back as the evil morph. And um, Vision was cool. I got to work with Stan Lee in both uh, X-Men and Avengers. Excelsior. Uh, yes, 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 indeed. And uh, Vision is about to be featured in the new uh, Avengers movie coming out, so that should give it a hit. Uh, so I've been lucky. I've been able to uh, um, to play a lot of different characters. Got to work with Tim Burton on Beetlejuice and do a lot of uh, things like that. Nice. Yes. And... Um, it's been fun. It's fun doing what I do. Now, when, you, when you're going to do a cat, like, I mean, do you pretend you're actually a cat while you're doing the voice? Yeah, I get into. I I, I I I try to call on all my feline powers to kind of, you know, I um, uh, oh, I was gonna say something that, that I won't. Um, um, you have to play a pussy cat. No, I, it wasn't there. It was how I go to the washroom, but I'm not even gonna go there. Um, it's it's interesting. On 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 Artemis, he does. Um, he is a cat, but he talks in a human voice. So I do do this and the wow and the, those kind of things. But um, the the character himself, um, they had me model him after um, they wanted him kind of more low-key and kind of uh, do you remember Moonlighting with Bruce Willis yes, and Sybil yes. Shepherd? okay so they wanted kind of a Bruce Willis kind of kind of a cool kind of um, um, cool cat yippee cat yippee yeah that sort of thing so um, so I add some catness to him I have a little cat nip here and there throughout but um, uh, basically it's just um, it's, it's fun creating character because it's yours and once it's yours you can just kind of grow into it and 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 if you watch the series at the beginning, I think I was a little more kind of animated, and I and then I kind of grew into it a little more. Cat kind of, a little more. It was the catnip, yes, something like that. Yes. Okay. Now one last thing. Yes. Um. Let's say they're doing an Austin Powers cartoon, and you've been called to audition for Mr. Bicklesworth. Oh, the cat, Mr. Mr. You've Pickles. seen the, yeah, yeah, the shade, pussy, Yes, of cat. course, yes, 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 yes. Um, um, go on, is there a question there? Nope. Uh, let's okay. see, um, we want a shaved evil cat with no hair. Oh, um, he would purr a lot. I think he would be... Eh, that's about it. Okay, that's my Mr. Bigglesworth. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Ron Rubin, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my bad guy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah,
Stop there and pan down. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a director too. Awesome.